it's always fascinating to me to go back and see where a wine is born, where it comes from, the basic, the fruit, the grapes. Encounter them in their natural environment. Experience the soil, the weather, the whole feeling of, of the birthplace of this wine long before these grapes are transformed magically into, into their ultimate state. Wine and grapes are elemental and impressive in their natural environment. We've been seeing the, the forms and shapes of this fruit on the artwork of the ancients, the, uh, the Romans, the Greeks. And here they are uh, calling to us through the ages via traditions and just the, the long-standing relationship of human beings to, to the soil. And this, this for me is, is uh, always impressive and always magical and it really actually deepens my understanding of the final product. I know my breath released into the open sky. Please tighten that bandage round my head one last time. Let go my hand and close my eyes. Time's coming as a light under the door. Footsteps in the next year hallway coming with a stethoscope a syringe witness i call you all my will you're my lands this little country of my own true blood in this kingdom with no king no none at all or just a daughter and a son-in-law Witness, can you write me down These words, my darlings, take your time Cause all things must fall All things must fall Think I'm gonna just sit here for a while Gonna try to see what happens But I still stand right up to your face And forty lashes but I never would have worried or worked that hard If they ever would have told me so That I was just working for the ashes For the ashes, for the What fools on the fire escape When the fire is going out Is anybody's dad? It seems like nothing changes in your world Just take your time and know that all things will fall Thank you very much. Well, so tonight uh, was a, an event with many dimensions. Uh, we had my music and we had the winemakers coming and presenting their wines uh, on stage talking about the wines. Uh, we had uh, a little kind of interplay between music and wine, kind of uh, playing songs that kind of matched. We did some song and wine pairings. Um, and then, of course, we had, uh, you know, wine is agriculture and nature, and, and so we had nature as well because we had rain. <laughs> so we were like feeling part of nature during this show. 
uh, and feeling that that natural power that comes also uh, from from the human powered phenomenon that is music. Um, as far as Kumia Wine goes, I mean, I was already a fan uh, before today. Um, you know, I've been I've been enjoying Kumia wines probably since the first time I came to this region on tour, which, I mean, it's been uh, more than 10 years I've been coming to this, this part of Spain. Um, and so I discovered these wines at that time, um, which, you know, they have a lot of depth and they're very bold, um, but they also have a sensual uh, roundness to them and, and, and just, again, a lot of dimensions. And it's always really wonderful, I think, to, to go see wine where it, it's growing and to see that, I mean, we get this product in a bottle at the end of the day and you get that at the store or the restaurant or whatever, and you might not think about it, but there's so much that, that is going into the past of that bottle that starts with, you know, these pieces of land where people have been making wine for perhaps hundreds or maybe even thousands of years. All of that comes together, cultural, historical, uh, sociological, uh, mystical, all of that comes together in a bottle of wine, a glass of wine on your table, in your, on your palate. Uh, and it's, it's wonderful to, to, to actually walk into that uh, ground and see that history alive around you. And that, that was a, a really nice treat.